Hey everybody, this is Glow in the Dark Plot Clock Part 2. I'm Tucker Shannon and today we're going to be showing you how to calibrate the plot clock and set the time on the real-time clock module. Okay, let's set the time. Open up your Arduino IDE. There's going to be two libraries you need to have installed um, in order to do this. So let's manage our libraries under Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries. And you can search for um, RTC, and this is the one I installed, DS1307RTC. I don't have the option, but if you click uh, on the next one, you can see you can hit install. So click on the DS1307RTC by Michael Margolis, and then click install. And then we're going to need the time uh, library. Um, let's see the ones I have installed. Um, so I have Time by Michael uh, Margolis installed as well. As you can see here, so uh, do the same thing. You're going to do uh, install, but uh, since I already have it um, installed, we're going to just imagine I did that. Okay, now once you have those installed, uh, go to Examples. All the way down here to DS one thirty seven one three zero seven RTC. Hit set time. This guy is going to come up, and now that we have that, let's go ahead and plug in our Arduino through the USB port. Now, once that's plugged in, go to your tools port and select the port um, that's USB serial. Okay, hit upload and it's going to upload that sketch onto your Arduino which will set the time on the real-time clock. Great, now if we should open up our serial monitor we should see that the, the time is confirmed and it is, that's the correct time. Um, okay, on to the next step. If that doesn't work, uh, what you're going to want to do is make sure you look at uh, your wires, that they're all properly plugged in. Now for the next part, we need to have the 3D printed clock code up, which is included in the Thingiverse file. So uh, download that, pull it up. Um, and the first thing we need to do is, or the second thing after setting the real time clock module is to uh, calibrate it. So what we're gonna do first is uncomment this define calibration on line 29, okay? And this is gonna put it in calibration mode. Um, and that means the arms are going to be moving at 90 degrees uh, back and forth. And you'll see uh, what, that, what I mean by that when, I, when we upload it. Okay, so hit upload. It's going to upload it to the Arduino. And we'll be in calibration mode. Yep, it sure is. Okay, here it's in calibration mode without the arms attached. And you'll notice it goes through a little sequence. Uh, and then has a pause at the end for two seconds. So listen for the two second pause, which is right there. Unplug it, um, and we're gonna put the arms in the, the correct position. Okay, during uh, that sequence of uh, movement, it's drawing a square from here, 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 and here, and then back to here, and it has a two second pause right here. So what we did is we listened for that two second pause, and um, Pull the power so we know that the position is right there. And then we attach the arm so that they're in that position. Um, now, if we plug it in, it should roughly draw uh, a square, or at least that's the, the goal. Uh, mine's been calibrated, um, so you'll see it's drawing a square. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get it to calibrate it so it draws a square. Because um, when the square is drawn perfectly, it should be able to draw time. So this is probably the most tedious part and it's pretty annoying at times and it can uh, can be a little frustrating. So I'm going to try and walk you through it the best I can. Um, so this code was orig originally written by Joe uh, for his whiteboard marker plot cock. And so I kind of reverse engineered it to be able to do it with uh, the Glow uh, UV LED setup that we have here. So the idea is there's four different variables that we need to change in order to get to draw the square perfectly. Um, right now, it's going to look pretty wonky on your side, uh, most likely. 
if it draws the perfect square, then great. You can uh, turn it out of calibration mode and it should be able to draw the time. But most likely it's not drawing it perfectly. Um, so to get it to be able to draw perfectly, we're going to need to change servo factor left, servo factor right, servo left null, and servo right null. So since this calibration part can be a little tricky, and I don't really know what it looks like on your end, I'm going to suggest that we change these four variables um, individually and see the effect that it has on your plot clock. I've made a simple diagram that explains what I observed the effect was for, by changing those variables. So by using that guide, uh, we'll step through um, and hopefully get your plot clock drawing the perfect square so it can draw the time. These diagrams here show the glow sticker in blue and the square that's being drawn. So the blue square is the default scenar scenario and the dotted line is the change I saw when I either subtracted or added 100 to the variable. So for servo factor left, I saw that it moved the right line of the square over to the right. Notice that the left side did not move, it was only the right side. So servo factor left, if you add 100, it should move over right. So if your square isn't making it all the way over to the right side, say it's stopping like right here or something, then a good thing to do would be to add to servo factor left and it will move the right line of the square over to the right. Now, if it's if you have a problem where your line on the right side is, is outside of the square, and it's too far over here, then you can subtract from servo factor left. Now, if your left line of your square, uh, for example, is drawing over here, what you could do to fix that would be to add the servo factor right, and it will move it this way. Okay, so here the drawing of the square is a little bit out of calibration. We see that it's not drawing completely to this right edge here, so we would like to move it over a little bit more. And we know that with servo factor left, uh, it moves the square over. Uh, so we can add a positive addition to servo factor 100, or just to servo factor left, and it should move that square right over. Okay, so let's add 100 to servo factor left and see the effect. After adding the 100 to the servo factor left, you see it has moved over a bit to the right. Okay, after uploading, it looks like it's drawing it correctly. So I really hope that you guys are able to follow along and get it drawing uh, for yourself as well. Um, it can be pretty finicky at times um, and a little bit frustrating. So if you are able to do it, let me know. If you get stuck on something, uh, comment down below and I'll try and, uh, and uh, see if I can help in any way. Alright, thanks for watching.